have the pleasure to introduce our fifth and ready. final oh. queen candidate, Ms. Jacqueline Matanza. <laughs> several advisory boards and in service events with the Sigma Beta Honor Society. It's a round of applause for Jacqueline At this point, normally I explain how this will work, but we just found out that you already know. So the first question I'm going to ask you, why do you think you should be Stony Brook's homecoming queen? Well, in addition to loving Stony Brook and my experience here, I believe that I would love to be homecoming queen because of, I have three reasons. The first reason is my spirit. I love Stony Brook. I love wearing my Stony Brook red wherever I go because of how proud I am to be a student here. Um, I love, I love being, um, wearing my red on Red Fridays because it's my favorite tradition here. And I'm able to share my school spirit with all of the all of my peers on campus through my role as the president and food section leader of the Spirit of Stony Brook Marching Band. And, and the second reason is uh, definitely my growth. I've grown from a shy individual to someone who has found her voice, and I am grateful to Stony Brook and my experiences here for that. Um, I've grown into um, an independent and mature person. And my last reason is I believe that I'm a very well-rounded student. With my participation in the marching band, the club soccer team, the Sigma Beta Honor Society, the orientation leaders, the student ambassadors, uh, the statesmen, the Sony Brook News, and a lot more, I feel that, and the School of Journalism, I feel that, I think that through that I've gained um, a great knowledge of Stony Brook and I've been able to spread a good example for my peers. Now, if you know the second question, we're going to be very impressed. It's coming from our judges. So, judges, what do you got? Hi, uh, Jackie. Hello. Uh, in your application essay, you speak about your involvement in the student ambassador program at Stony Brook. How has being an ambassador enhanced and supported your leadership development? Being a Stony Brook an ambassador is a great honor. Um, I was nominated by one of um, a faculty or staff member, and as a as my role as a student ambassador, I'm able to go to different events, VIP events on campus, and introduce people to the campus and what Stony Brook is all about. I'm really um, a standout student who is able to who has the knowledge of campus to tell them about campus and what we have to offer. I think that through those experiences, meeting new people and uh, sharing my own experiences with them, I've definitely grown into a leader and um, helped my talking, my communication skills and definitely feeling more confident in who I am. Okay, Jack, and in question number three, the other surprise, <laughs> this is a 30-year tradition. We have homecoming king and queen here on Stony Brook campus. To, if you had to start a new tradition, what would it be? Well, last year, uh, as a part of the School of Journalism, I was uh, one of the people who had the idea of starting a live show um, during Wolfstock, right in the middle of Wolfstock Village. And we did it. It was a great success, and we eventually did it for Roth Regatta. And we're going to do it again this year. And I think that building right now, it's just with the School of Journalism, but I think it would be really awesome to make it a campus-wide tradition and really try to put on a live show during each huge campus event so we can keep doing Wolfstock, Roth Regatta, even Earthstock, and try to incorporate more of other students not in the School of Journalism and other faculty and staff members to try to get exposure for the university and to try to showcase all the great events that we put on and to get students more uh, excited about the events to show other people what we do. Yeah. 